let's take a look at the controls on the remote control for the Lumens DC265. In the top left hand corner you'll see the source button. The source button is how you switch between the source of the image coming from a live image or from your computer or from a stored image uh, within the, within the uh, camera or on the SD card. The uh, PBP button, that's picture by picture, that will allow you to show half the screen with a live image and the other half of the screen could be a stored image for comparison. Down below that we see the, uh, the brightness, uh, of course these are kind of self-explanatory, you have your brightness down, brightness up on the right, zoom in on the top and zoom out on the bottom. The enter button there in the center uh, when you're selecting something from a menu. The menu button is there on the left. And then your freeze button is below that. The freeze button is pretty handy if you have something that uh, you're showing to students and you want to uh, avoid any vibrations or maybe you want to adjust the camera head and point at something else. Well, you don't want to make people seasick, so you can freeze that image before you move the camera head if you'd like. It's also pretty handy if you're doing a, uh, maybe a reveal where you're going to show someone a problem and then reveal the answer. Uh, this is pretty handy in math if you're going to show you know, the problem and then you can freeze it, write the answer down, ask the students to do their own work and then unfreeze by pressing the freeze button again to reveal the answer as you continue your discussion. The pan button allows you to move around uh, quadrant by quadrant, left, top, uh, uh, top right, left, bottom, uh, bottom right if you want to go across uh, a document and zoom in on it a bit. Uh, the rotate button, well, if you need to flip the image, you press the o rotate button. Maybe the, the camera head, when you're doing a video, maybe you uh, uh, need to rotate the image itself instead of rotating the camera head. That button is there for you for that purpose. The slideshow is pretty handy. I like to uh, think that teachers will use it most often before class begins because instead of recording a PowerPoint or something like that, you can record a, a quick slideshow directly into the camera, play it back maybe for the uh, pre-class activities while the students are in their seats, give them a little bit of seat work. Maybe you put a, a couple of screens up there with a preview of what you're going to discuss that day, put the concepts up there. You can time it, you can change the timing, you can have each slide up there for you know 20 seconds or 20 minutes or two seconds if you want, whatever is uh, more appropriate. Uh, the autofocus there on the right is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, and then below that you have the capture button. That's for capturing a still image. In the bottom right you have the record button. Again, to turn on a recording you press the record button. And to turn off a recording you press the record button again. Now to play back a recording or play back an uh, image, you would go to the source button and then choose the storage area where that image or where that movie file is stored and you simply select the one that you want to play with the enter key after navigating around in that area with the arrow keys.